Uh, this next activity is equivalent fractions. Equivalent fractions is something you've heard of quite a lot before. It should be quite straightforward. You have to try and find the equivalent fraction to the one on the left. Remember, equivalent fractions are about staying the same. They're equal. So if this goes from 2 to 1, what's happened to it? It's been divided by 2. It's been cut in half. So if the top number, whatever happens to the top number, you have to do to the bottom number as well. So if this gets cut in half from 2 to 1, we have to cut the 8 in half to get 4. Okay. Whatever happens to the top number, you do to the bottom. Simple as that. 9 to 3. How do you turn 9 into 3? You uh, divide it by 3. So if you divide by 3 at the top, you divide 12 by 3 at the bottom, and 12 divided by 3 is 4. Simple as that. A couple more. The bottom number here has gone from 110 to 10. So what has happened here? It's been divided by 11. Okay, divide by 11, it's the 11 times table. Divide by 11, so divide the top by 11 as well. 66 divided by 11 is 6. And one more. 98 to 7. Okay, 98 has been uh, turned into 7, and you have to think to yourself, how many, um, what, how many 7s are there in 98, or 7 watts make 98? So you might not know your uh, ninety your uh, 7 times table up to 98, but you probably know your 7 times table up to uh, 70, and then you can just uh, go from there. So there's another uh, 28 after 70, so after uh, 7s in 28 is 4, so there's 10 7s in 70, leaving us with 28 more, and there are another four sevens in 28, so there are 14 sevens in the whole number. 14 sevens make 98, okay? So it's times by 14, or divided by 14, so we need to divide 84 by 14 as well. So we need to divide that by 14. Uh, how, many 84, how many 14s are in 84? Um, I would say it's probably going to be uh, six. Okay, trickier one. Um, that one and so if you need to you can use a calculator on these if you need to to work out what's happened to the bottom number um, so just dividing them uh, divide it by uh, divide one number by the number that on the other side to see what's happened to it and then um, do that same thing to the top number but that's the important thing to remember with equivalent fractions whatever you do to the bottom you have to do to the top or whatever's been happened to the top you have to do to the bottom